if you're looking for a reliable P25 Phase 2 capable mobile scanner in a price range near $500, this might be the one. What makes it attractive right off the bat is how well it handles both analog and digital transmissions, including P25 Phase 2 systems. Compared to similarly priced scanners, it offers robust trunk tracking features without the hassle of an SD card that can become corrupted, an issue known to occur on models like the Bearcat BCD536HP. In that sense, the BCD996 P2 feels like a safer, more stable investment. Programming can be handled through free software like FreeScan, letting you download frequencies from radio reference and target specific regions or counties. However, there are a few quirks. Some users have trouble fully disabling the close call mode, as it occasionally gets stuck on a hit frequency, requiring manual intervention to return to scanning. This is not a deal breaker, but can be an inconvenience until you get comfortable navigating the functions. Similarly, the scanner's weather priority feature can cut off parts of transmissions every couple of seconds, so many users choose not to use it. Once you have everything programmed, you'll likely notice that audio levels can vary from channel to channel. Even with automatic gain control enabled for both analog and digital signals, one channel might be quiet while another comes through overly loud, sometimes even distorted. To fix this, some people go as far as adjusting each channel's volume offset individually, which can be time-consuming. Still, for day-to-day -day scanning, this approach eventually yields a balanced listening experience. If you do a lot of streaming, like broadcasting your feed online, you'll want to keep a close eye on the volume offset so listeners aren't startled by sudden changes. Firmware updates are crucial to get the best results. With the scanner's software updated from version 1.06.01 to 1.08.1, P25 reception improves noticeably. Digital audio quality, especially on P25 signals, is surprisingly clear through an external communication speaker, although the built-in speaker sounds a bit muffled. If you live in an area with digital simulcast systems, be aware you may need to carefully position your antenna for best reception. This is an ongoing challenge with many scanners in this category. For those who need it, the BCD996 P2 supports upgrades to DMR and NXDN with the latest firmware, which you can install on your own or send it in for service. Doing it yourself can save you a bit of money, and it's not too difficult if you follow the instructions closely. Programming quick keys is also straightforward, and you can assign separate quick keys to manage different systems or groups. This feature is particularly useful if you want to block out certain channels or entire systems in a pinch. Perfect for skipping chatter you don't want to hear in the moment. In this price range, the BCD996 P2 gives you a dependable performance and advanced trunking features that many hobbyists and professionals look for. Compared to other digital scanners that cost about the same, it's a strong contender because it avoids the SD card vulnerability and delivers crisp digital audio once properly tweaked. Yes, it has minor annoyances like volume differences and close call hiccups, but the scanner's overall stability and update potential offer excellent value for the money. To sum up what we like is the competitive price. No SD card needed, avoiding corruption issues found in some comparable models. Clear digital audio, especially with a quality external speaker. It supports firmware updates and optional DMR NXDN upgrades and the quick keys for efficient channel management. On the downside, Close call function can be difficult to disengage at times, inconsistent audio levels requiring manual volume offset adjustments, the weather priority feature can cut off parts of transmissions, and muffled internal speaker sound, especially on digital.